Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing nine fashion mistakes that are ruining your style. These are actual things that you probably do all the time including myself, and that's the beauty of these videos. I purely take inspiration from myself. I walk around my closet and I think, what do I do that's really bad? And <laughs> before I know it, I have a whole list to share with you guys. But first, you should consider subscribing to my channel. It's just a red button below. You just hit the button and it's, it's free. It's a subscription, but it's free. Go ahead, work on that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna prepare, prepare for my, my presentation here, my video. Red, yellow, leather, red, yellow, red, leather, yellow, leather, red, leather, yellow, leather, red, brown leather, the rugged rocks, the ragged rascals ran. Tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lip. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Okay then, <laughs> let's get started. The very first fashion mistake that's ruining your style. I sound so angry. I'm really not, this is fun. It's pregnancy cut shirts <laughs> that have nothing to do with maternity or, or pregnancy in the least bit. This was actually purchased from Target yesterday in the women's section. And I saw it and I was like, I used to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this and show it my video and I'm gonna return it tomorrow because I don't want it. Anyway, look, if you notice, it is literally cut exactly here and then it flows outward, making you you look like you're pregnant. I mean, this is this isn't good. This is not this is not good. On like, and nothing against Target. Like, I love Target. I'm always shopping at Target. In fact, I'm always buying their clothes. But this was a little surprising to me. Although it's not surprising to me because I still see it all the time. And that leads me to number two, which you're already seeing it here. <laughs> Do you see it? It's the hangy loop things that I, I still think serve absolutely no purpose unless the shirt is strapless or there is a reason that you need these loops to hang the item up. Nine times out of 10, that is never the case. These things are on literally every single shirt. I can hang this shirt up just fine. It doesn't stretch anything out. I don't need these things, yet they still are there sticking out on top of your collarbone completely ruining your style. So just snip them off like every time, basically. And continuing on with the Target shirt rampage, uh, the next fashion mistake that's ruining your style is weird cutouts, weird holes in shirts, like this one. It just looks cheap. It doesn't look good. There's a lot of adjectives that I could use to describe this. I just don't like this shirt. And then I'm realizing right now that you know, as I mentioned, this is available at Target right now, which means there's probably people watching this that already have the shirt, in which case I am sure you're very offended. So um, we're just, we're gonna move on. Number four, clear bra straps. And this guys, this is shocking to me. They still sell clear bra straps, which means people are still buying clear bra straps. I have no idea why they were ever, ever invented. Like, they, 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 you see them, they're not clear. They're actually very prominent. So if you want to, I don't know, hide some straps, be more elusive, don't buy clear bra straps. Just buy like the little pasty things, there's silicone inserts, there's all kinds of things. In fact, I'm inserting footage of all of your options at Target, see? See guys? I like Target, yep. But I will say, they also have clear bra straps there. So just steer clear of those and you're good to go. The next fashion mistake that's ruining your style without you even realizing it is buying regular size jeans, which sounds very normal. So just hear me out on this one. So this is a recent discovery of mine. I have, I feel like I've cracked the jean code. I am five foot five, kind of, Sometimes I like to say five foot six. I mean, I'm like right on the, the, the edge there. So if you're like that height or shorter, you guys should try buying short in jeans. Yes, like <laughs> mind blown. There are so many jeans that I have that are like skinny jeans. They bunch at the bottom. Like there's a huge bunch at the bottom. So they're wrinkly down there or we like to roll them, which cuts off our leg. It makes our legs look very stumpy, which is something I've said for years at this point that just, it doesn't look good. But what you do is you just order a size short. Like you, you, you buy the, the regular size, whether it be a two, a four, a six, whatever, but get it in a short and your mind will be blown. The, the ankle, it literally will stop at the perfect spot. So the best brand that I have found that I've done this consistently now, on many pairs and it has worked every time is Levi. So I'll link some of my favorite Levi jeans down below. So speaking of sizing, that leads me to the next fashion mistake that you're probably making, making, you're probably making, making bacon. <laughs> 
I'm hungry. Most women do this, not everybody, but a lot of women do this, and that is they try to buy or order the smallest size they can because it kind of gives them this like instant gratification feeling like, yay, I, I fit into a size small. And sometimes, that's not what's gonna look best on you. Not because of your size, but because just of the style in general. So for example, this is my favorite, my all time favorite Amazon cardigan. I rave about this thing and I specifically ordered it in a size medium because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. There's times I order size large. There's a flannel over there that I specifically got in an extra large because I wanted it to be really baggy. So anytime you're buying a shirt or a jacket or anything really, don't focus on the smallest size. Focus on how you want it to fit you. And sometimes oversized is better. Not always, sometimes. Ankle strapped pumps are the next fashion mistake you might be making. And not because they're just so out of style and they're terrible. They're actually kind of convenient. They make wearing these shoes a, a lot easier. Um, but really just the strap makes your legs look so much shorter. It just cuts off your entire leg. It ruins the beautiful effect that heels give on legs. I mean, usually heels make your legs look so long and extended, but this darn black strap just completely cuts it off. So yeah, don't wear them. I mean, you can if you want. I'm not, although I still have them. So speaking of optical illusions and cutting things off in the right spot, make sure you cut your torso off in the right spot. And what I mean by that is when you have good proportions on your body, everything just comes together and looks better. So for example, when your legs look a little bit longer and your torso is a little bit shorter, to me that is perfection. So consider high-waisted jeans or pants or maybe a skirt that's a little bit higher so that your torso is a teeny bit shorter than your longer legs. If you cut it off right in the middle so that your torso and your legs are equal length, it just to the eye doesn't look correct and it throws everything off. Number nine is actually covering up too much of your body and not showing any skin. And this actually has nothing to do with modesty. I, I, I'm really not saying like, woo woo hoo, show off your body. No, that was weird, don't do that. What I really mean is a little bit of skin somewhere is just a natural accent to your outfit. So for example, today you can see just like a little bit of my neck. I'm just, there, just showing off some necklaces. If I was covered up completely from head to toe, maybe I would throw on a booty and show off just a little sliver of my ankle. There's so many things that you can do, but again, it's purely just a natural accent to an outfit. So that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you should smash that like button. I sound like a real YouTuber there. <laughs> really, if you just click the thumbs up, it'll work just as well. Uh, if you're new, maybe you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, that would be great. And with that, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.